Marketing Rebel. Marketing Rebel. Marketing Rebel. So business is not a venture without risk. And no matter how perfect your plan is, there's always going to be a point when you lose. It can be as simple as losing a client or as large as losing the whole business. Now, we can't always win. This is important because we cannot win 100% of the time. It's just not realistic, right? And if you're winning 100% of the time, then you're not doing enough right. They happen in business, our, our everyday situations in life in general, right? When someone tells you they, they always win or don't lose, that's just more wishful thinking than anything else. So losses happen, but we'll get to the good stuff here in a second. The most important thing about them is what we learn from those losses, right? Step one is not to dwell on them, because if we spend our time sinking into failure and really focusing on it, then it becomes our whole world. Failure takes over everything we've ever wanted and flips us to the wrong mindset. Now we go from being driven to succeed to becoming bitter about our obstacles. It only takes one loss to destroy the drive and make us stagnant. So my son's really into sports right now and driven to win in every game that he does, right? His level of competition and drive pushes him to win. And every time the team loses, he really feels it deeply, right? He's that, he's that kid on the sidelines that tears are coming down his face because he's so mad they lost, right? And losing is the worst thing in the world to him because he's just so passionate about the game. And while that passion is appreciated, his feelings of loss become all encompassing. It can only often set him back. If he's too focused on the loss, he can't pay attention to the next play or how to work with the team to make improvements. He needs to learn that a loss and failure are often teachable moments. So we can't focus on our losses. Otherwise, we won't move forward and grow. My successful, the many successful people have gotten where they are because they experienced loss and they grew from it. They learned from their failures and applied those lessons to their next venture. Not every business you touch will turn to gold. Now, I know you probably have some friends that it feels like everything they touch does, but what you learn from your failure is just as valuable as what you gain from success. Now, this shift in our mindset, it's crucial. It's easy for people to experience loss and then immediately point their fingers elsewhere, right? You can do this all you want, but you gotta go here. They point to an event, a person, a company, a government, anything. They point to anything that is outside of them, but pointing that finger somewhere else won't help you get over the loss and lose focus on fixing the problem. You're gonna be bitter and you're gonna blame the world Maybe it's capitalism, maybe it's crony capitalism, whatever it is, outside force led you to that failure, the loss will sit with you until you finally let it go. So in my situation, I could have easily blamed the recession, the government, the housing bubble, whoever. And maybe a part of me did, but I also took the next step to reflect and see how I contributed to my own loss. Reflection is essential, essential in moving past the loss. Now I like to take that pointing finger and redirect it like this, right? What could I have done better to make the situation a win instead of a loss? What could I do better next time? What could I learn from this? What can I do right now to start fixing things? In my reflection, I found that ego led me to my ma massive growth as well as my massive fall. I wasn't paying attention to the market and this is something I could fix for the next time and there would be a next time, right? So this mindset shift is often called a fixed to growth mindset. These terms have been pretty popular for a couple years now. A fixed mindset is where you believe you can't change and that your choices and actions are based entirely on talent or a special skill. A growth mindset is one where you know you can change, grow from your circumstances, and ultimately learn from your failures. Now here's the thing, in a fixed mindset, you're set on a path to eventually fail and never bounce back. If you fail with a fixed mindset, you dwell on that and point the fingers anywhere else, right? So you're more likely to become defensive when you identify that you've made a mistake, you're so busy protecting your ego that you can't learn from your failure. Now on the other hand, a growth mindset, that sets up to succeed, that sets you up the right way. It helps people like you and me recognize they were constantly growing and learning, we're capable of resilience and learning from our mistakes. A growth mindset is what we need to succeed in business and in life, right? It sets you up for goal planning and development. So part of growth mindset is learning to reflect on what went wrong. If people acknowledge what they could do better, they would be able to move on and find a quicker solution. Hey, did you like the video? Good content? 
Did you learn something? Do me a favor, share, like, and comment, and or comment, we prefer the and, and uh, help us spread the message. Thank you.